Hello, hello, hola, hola, it's hola nature. Hola amigos, bienvenidos a todos. Welcome everyone to the Hola Nature podcast. I am your Spanish-speaking, nature-loving, hysterical host, Naomi, and I am super excited to learn Spanish with you this week where we learn all about serpientes, snakes. Let's slither into this week's episode and say hola to nature. You either love them or you are a little freaked out by them. I don't know if there is an in-between with serpientes, but no matter how you feel, it is impossible to deny that snakes are absolutely fascinating. I cannot wait for this episode where we get to learn even more about these incredible creatures. Empecemos! Now, first and foremost, we need to make sure that we know how to say snake in español. La palabra es serpiente. Serpiente. Serpiente is snake, and it actually sounds pretty simu- similar to the word serpent in English, so that can be a clue to remember it. Serpent, serpiente, they're kind of similar, right? Can you see it? Now, what sound do snakes make? Can you do it? Hiss. That's right, serpientes si sean. Si sean. I love that word because it even kind of sounds like you're hissing. Si sear. Si sear is to hiss. Si sear. And if you want to say snakes hiss, you say serpientes si sean. Muy bien. Serpientes si sean. Super. You guys sound so awesome when you practice your Spanish with me. So serpientes si sean y también se deslizan. Se deslizan. Serpientes se deslizan. They slither. Se deslizan. Serpientes se deslizan. Fantástico. Now, some people, when talking about snakes, confuse the term poisonous and venomous. Snakes are venomous. Something that is venomous, it injects a toxin into its prey via a wound. So venom needs to be injected somehow, either by a bite or a sting. Entonces, las serpientes son venenosas. Venenosa. Venenosa is venomous. Venenosa. Excelente. Y es importante saber, not all snakes are venenosas, but a good amount of snakes still are venomous, so it's an important term that we need to know. Venenosa. Muy bien. Now let's learn the names of a couple snakes that are super cool. Where I live, we have serpientes de cascabel. It is a snake with a special kind of noise maker on its tail to warn us if we get too close. Can you think of a snake that might rattle? Si, sí, a rattlesnake, una serpiente de cascabel. Serpiente de cascabel. Cascabel, muy bien, serpiente de cascabel. They are super dangerous, but at least they try to warn us with their rattles. Otra serpiente es una víbora ratonera. Víbora is a word for viper, which is a type of snake. Víbora. Víbora. And I think of there's a Spanish song, A la víbora, víbora de la mar. That's why it's running through my head while I teach you this. Pero una víbora ratonera is a rat snake. Víbora ratonera. Right? It has the word rat in the beginning. Ratonera. Ratonera. Víbora ratonera is a rat snake. Have you ever seen a rat snake before? They do not care about us. They don't want to hurt us at all. They just want to eat. What could a rat snake want to eat? You got it. Rats and rodents. Víbora ratonera. Excelente. Now, I wish I could teach you the names of 20 different species of serpientes in Espanol, but we don't have extra time for that. So make sure that you check out our freebie for this week, and I'll try and put some extras in there for you to learn. Ooh, I see the forest fairies coming along, and I know that one of these aditas is especially enamored with serpientes, so I bet she will be super excited. Hola, aditas. Hola. ¿Cómo están? Bien. Sí, todo bien. Are your names still changing each week? 
Sí. Sí, ok. ¿Cómo se llaman esta semana? ¿Tú cómo te llamas? Snake. ¿Y tú cómo te llamas tú? Slither. Slither. Do you know what we're learning about this week? Snake. Sí. Serpientes. Tengo una pregunta. ¿Qué piensan de serpientes? ¿Les gustan? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Por qué? Because I get to ride on one. You yeah. ride on a serpiente? Oh, because you're a tiny adita. Because I... Because I help them fly and I ride on one. You help a serpiente fly by riding on it? Mm-hmm. You guys are blowing my minds right now. ¿No tienen miedo de serpientes? Sí. ¿Sí tienes miedo? No. No, no tienen miedo? How can you let snakes know that you're coming when you're hiking and playing in the woods? Um, we, we gave them these special things that connect to them and we always... But how can, like, let's say we're going for a hike, or your friends listening at home are going for a hike, how can they let snakes know that they're coming? Stamping. Stamping, stamping your foot. Why? What does that do when you stamp your foot? It, it, it vibrates. Mm-hmm. And they can feel the vibration coming from your feet. Do serpientes want to hurt us? No. No way! So when they feel that vibration, they're like, whoa, something big's coming. I'm going to get out of here. ¿Tienen un tipo de serpiente favorito? Sí. ¿Cuál es? Copperhead. ¿For real? A sí. copperhead. For you too? Whoa. Actually, a corn snake. Ooh, a corn snake. Yeah, copperheads are pretty, pretty dangerous, right? Yeah, but I love them. Oh, that's sweet. Esta semana vamos a aprender sobre, we already told everyone, serpientes. Y tengo un poema que se llama, what do you think the title is? Serpiente. You're so smart. Will you help me teach everyone listening at home? Sí. Awesome. Let's learn it line by line, and friends listening at home can repeat it with you. Right, Atitas? Sí. Do we do silly voices? Sí. Do you have any requests? No. No? Okay. Fantastic. Robot. Oh, another robot request. What do our amigos do if they are listening at home and they think, oh, wow, I need to learn this full poema in English y español. Where do they go? NinosInNature.com That's right, the podcast page of our website at NinosInNature.com and we will also have super cool Spanish free worksheets and coloring pages with this episode. Do you guys want some snake coloring pages? Sí. Awesome. Okay, listas? Sí. Okay, vamos. Deslizándose. Deslizándose. That's a big word. Deslizándose. Muy bien. Deslizándose por la hierba. Deslizándose por la hierba. Muy bien. Deslizándose por la hierba. Deslizándose por la hierba. Super. La serpiente sinuosa está escribiendo. La serpiente sinuosa está escribiendo. Muy bien. Do you think we could do all of that together? That's a lot. Are you up for it? Awesome. Okay, let's do it together. Deslizándose por la hierba, la serpiente sinuosa está escribiendo. Muy bien. Okay, there's one line left. Do you think we can do it? Sí. Muy bien. Un poema. Un poema. Respalosa. 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 Un poema respalosa. Un poema respalosa. Muy bien. Un poema respalosa. Un poema respalosa. Awesome. So, can we do this whole thing all together? Sí. Muy bien. <laughs> Let's do it. Deslizándose por la hierba, la serpiente sinuosa Está escribiendo un poema respalosa. I have a question. Is this serpiente really writing a poem? No, it's slithering. It's slithering. 
Where is it slithering through la hierba? The grass. Yeah, and so if our friends want to learn the rest of this poem, because the rest of this poem is pretty silly, I'll tell you after. If they want to learn the rest of it, where do they go again? Muy bien. Buen trabajo, Aditas. ¿Qué van a hacer el resto del día? Be careful with snakes. You're going to go and be careful with snakes? I'm going to play with them. You're going to go and play with some snakes? I'm going to ride a snake. You guys are wild. Riding serpientes. Do you want to share anything else before you go? Adios, be careful with snakes. <laughs> Adios, Aditas. Adios. Gracias. Bien hecho, amigos. Great work learning that Spanish poem with me. We have made it to a part of the show that I just love. This is where we learn more about the world all around us as I share some super cool datos curiosos. This is where I ask you. Sabías que? Sabías que? Sabías que? Did you know? ¿Sabías que las serpientes usan sus lenguas para oler? Now, try this for me. Stick out your tongue, your lengua, and hold your breath. Do you smell anything? Well, how do snakes smell with their tongues then? Well, let me tell you. Cuando las serpientes sacan las lenguas, llevan partículas de aroma a sus receptores de olor que están en su paladar en su boca. If we had the right receptors in our mouths, we could bring in those particle aromas too and figure out the smells all around us. But I guess we'll just have to rely on our noses. But at least now we know what serpientes are doing when they stick their lenguas out. They're smelling. ¿Sabías que hay algunas serpientes que pueden volar? No tienen alas como los pájaros, pero todavía pueden planear por el aire. And I know what you're thinking, Naomi. There is no way that snakes can fly. Have you ever heard of a flying snake before? Well, I hadn't either, but they are so super cool. La serpiente voladora, or flying snake in English, forma rapidamente una S con su cuerpo. An S shape. Y se aplana hasta más o menos el doble de su ancho normal, dándole a su cuerpo, normalmente redondo, una forma de C cóncava, que puede atrapar aire. So if we want a visual of this, hold out your hand in a fist. And then open it up into a C shape or a rainbow shape facing down towards the ground. Now imagine that serpiente starting out rounded like your fist and then being able to flatten out its body to form that concave C shape. When it launches itself off of a higher surface, that concave shape will trap the air allowing it to glide. It is so wild. La serpiente voladora, a flying snake. ¿Sabías que you will never see a snake blink, wink, or sleep with its eyes closed? I swear, never, never ever. Do you know why? Las serpientes no tienen párpados. Sin párpados, no pueden cerrar los ojos. Well, if they don't have eyelids, how do their eyes stay protected and moist? Lo que sí tienen las serpientes es una escama transparente que se llama escama ocular. Escama ocular, que actúa igual que un párpado. Protege el ojo y lo mantiene relativamente húmedo. This transparent ocular scale helps to keep their eyes working well and keeps them safe, just like an eyelid would. Can you believe all of those cool snake facts? Flying snakes, no eyelids, smelling tongues. Nature is so cool. Oh, goodness, what are my hamsters up to this time? I have two hamsters named Nacho and Peep, and they are always getting into trouble. And it looks like they found some scrap paper. They're just kind of like rolling around in it. Oh, gosh. Oh, hey, that reminds me. I have to go to my art class, but I will be back right after. Peep, no así. Tenemos que hacer escamas con el papel y una cola muy larga. I don't think we'll be able to create a realistic snake disguise from this paper, Nacho. It's a good idea trying to make scales and a long tail that makes us look bigger, but I don't think it'll fool the garter snake that lives in the compost pile in winter. Es mi montón de compost. No es justo. Señor Serpiente se mudó hace tres semanas. Hemos pasado más de un año comiendo ahí. Vi que comieron tacos anoche. Tacos, Peep! Quiero las sobras! I know, I know. I'm 
humanoid Mr. Snake moved in, too. You're right. The compost pile is ours. Not his. It's time to take it back. I don't think we need to try to disguise ourselves, though. I think it's time we fight back, hamster style. Uh, okay. Que significa eso? It means we get a friend to help us. What eats a garter snake that doesn't eat hamsters? Hmm, cuervos? No, crows would eat us. Hmm, mofetas? Skunks? No way. Skunks love rodents like us. Hmm, bulls? Owls, Nacho? We were almost turned into owl pellets a few weeks ago. Oh, oh, oh! Artie la ardilla! Artie the squirrel would eat a snake? A veces, es posible. It wouldn't hurt to try. I see Artie out there eating some acorns right now. Let's go. Hola, amigo. Artie, ¿cómo va, compañero? Oh, hola, amigos. Nacho, peep. Que hay de nuevo? Not much, Artie. We need your help, though. There's a mean snake that moved into the compost pile and won't let us eat anything. You don't eat snakes, do you? Hmm, serpiente? Hmm, comí una serpiente una vez. No es tan malo. Entonces, ¿tienes hambre? It's okay if you don't want to eat right now. We just saw they had tacos last night. I can smell those scraps from here. Mm. Supongo que podría. Denme cinco minutos y escóndense detrás de ese árbol. Wow, mira a Artie luchando con señor serpiente. I know. Who knew he was so strong? Oh, he's gonna see shooing him away. Ah, la serpiente se fue. ¿Cómo lo hizo? He must have been pretty scary to get that snake out of our compost pile. Let's go say thanks. Okay, amigos. Ya están a salvo. Wow. Thanks, Artie. How'd you get that snake to leave? Le dije que iba a comer su cola. <laughs> y se fue. También le dije que puedo compartir algunas de mis bellotas. Gracias, Artie. Eres un héroe. All right, Nacho. Let's dig in before she gets back from her art class. Tacos! Phew! Mm. Hey amigos! Thanks for letting me go get my painting on. Me encanta hacer arte. I made a super cool painting of a serpiente thinking of this episode. If you have any cool nature art, I would always love to see it. You can send me pictures at hola at ninosandnature.com. That's my email. Or have your family tag me on Instagram at Ninos dot and dot nature. We did so much awesome Spanish learning today. I hope this episode helped you see how wonderful serpientes really are. Oh, that's one of the palabras que aprendimos hoy. Serpiente. Serpiente. Serpiente is a snake. There are other words for snake too, depending on the type of snake. We learned that a rat snake is a vibora ratonera. Vibora ratonera. And vibora is a word for viper. Vibora ratonera is a rat snake. Awesome! The other snake that we learned about has a rattle on its tail. That's right, a rattlesnake. Una serpiente de cascabel. Serpiente de cascabel. Cascabel. Super. Now, serpientes de cascabel son super peligrosos porque son venenosas. Venenosa. Venenosa. Remember that snakes are not poisonous, they are venomous. Venenosa. Super. Nice work. I love when you practice your Spanish with me. We learned more about how snakes move and sound too, right? So serpientes sisean. Sisean, sisear is to hiss. Sisear, una serpiente sisea. And they don't just walk around, right? Say deslizan, deslizan, say deslizan. They slither. Awesome job, amigos. Muy, muy, muy buen trabajo hoy. Maybe today wasn't just about learning Spanish, but it was also about opening up your mind and learning about something that you might not love very much. 
Or maybe you're like one of our forest fairies who loves serpientes and asks their mom if they can have one as a pet every single day. <laughs> but no matter where you're at with your love of serpientes, I am so glad that we got to learn Espanol juntos hoy. Remember that if you want to learn even more Spanish with me, I have nature-based Spanish courses for kids of all ages available on my website. Check that out at ninosandnature.com under Spanish courses. And don't forget to grab our free Spanish worksheets for this episode. Those are available on the podcast page of our website. Make sure to grab them. All you have to do is sign up and you get a password and you can access our freebie page forever. Thank you again so much for listening to this episode of Hola Nature. If you are loving this podcast, make sure that you subscribe and leave me a review or a rating. That would be so super helpful. All right, amigos, I am so glad we got some time together today learning Spanish with you and learning about nature. It always puts a smile on my face and I hope that it helps you smile too. I cannot wait until next time when we get to say hola to nature. 